Antoine back here with another video and today I am going to do a review on my friend Chris's 135i. He's a pretty cool car. I don't see a lot of 135i's um, just rolling around. So I think it'd just be a good idea just to, I guess, do reviews on my friend's cars, what they think about them. Cause you know, maybe not everyone, everyone might not want a 420 AI convertible, you know? I think it's a good idea to get content from other BMW owners um, with different chassis BMWs and just see how they like their car. So I'm actually headed to his house right now and I will let you guys know when I get there. We're about to pull up to his house. Oh, there he is right there. Cutting some grass, okay. <laughs> All right, bro. This man over here cutting his neighbor's grass. All right, y'all. So I met up with Chris and he's actually taking me to a spot right now where we can review his car. Um, a little more open area, just so you guys can get a better look of it. Once we get there, I will let you guys know. This is the man himself, this is Chris. How you doing, bro? All right. So this is his 135i. We're just gonna go over like what's on the outside, what you've done to it. Well, it's a 2012 135i, the M Sport okay. package. As for exterior mods, I added a little carbon fiber bits, front lip canards, side skirts, the rear canards, the wing, and then the roof spoiler. Nice. Yeah. And this is stock exhaust, right? Yeah, stock exhaust. Stock exhaust. Black. Super nice. For interior, I kept it fairly stock, keep it comfortable, keep it luxurious, but I yeah. did add the aluminum paddle shifters. Okay, I see and that. And then the steering wheel cover. And then we'll, the main mods are under the hood. Woo wee! And so far it's just basic bolt-ons right now, nothing too serious. Okay. But it's a down pipe intake, charge pipe, a little catch can. And then I recently wrapped the charge pipe with low heat wrap tape. And I'm currently tuned with MHD Stage 2 Plus uh, E30. E30, okay. So what were you telling me earlier? You have to like mix it 30%? Oh yeah, <laughs> so the E30, it's a weird thing because the run E50, which is the max, you need a stage two low pressure fuel pump. Yeah. And right now I don't have that, so I'm just running E30. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it gets a little tricky with the math, filling it up and knowing the size of the gas tank. Yeah, for sure. And what engine is this? This is the N? It's the N55. N55, okay. Gotcha. Man, it's super clean. And this thing is super fast too, way faster than mine. So here pretty soon we're going a little ride along and show you guys what it can really do. And unlock the door, homeboy. <laughs> it's still locked. There we go. Wait, this interior is super nice, dude. I like the the light leather. Hard to keep clean, but I, I bet. enjoy it too. So how how long have you had this car for? About two and a half years. Oh, okay, cool. And then um, another thing where I really like the MHD tune, it's only active in sport mode. Oh, for real? Yeah. I didn't so, know that. I have the burbles and everything, but I have it so it's not so it's not active when I don't have sport mode activated. That's awesome. As far as the burbles, does it, so do you only get burbles in sports mode or? Yeah. Okay. Only in sport mode, just so I don't piss off my neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> That's understandable. This thing is quick. <laughs> this thing is quick. Yeah, but the reason I initially chose this car is because I wanted something with a short wheelbase, a coupe, and a solid power plant. Yeah, for so, sure. 
It's not the M54 sure. where you can get <laughs> about 60 horsepower from an intake, but it's a little more reliable. I can beat on it and it still starts tomorrow. Now, did you notice a, a big difference when you tuned the car? From, oh, from big stock? time, yeah. big time. It really woke the car up. Yeah, for the sure. The car was quick stock and from the factory, but with the tune, it really brought it to life, even with the stage one. Oh yeah, I bet. Now, as, as far as the stage one, you had you went stage one before stage two, correct? Yeah. And now, was there any, like, any difference from stage one to stage two, kind of the same? Stage one, kind of, you drop off power about, uh, about 5,500 RPMs. Okay. And then stage two, definitely with the E30 map, you can rev it all the way out to about 65. Nice. And I remember at the meet the other day, you actually had, um, there's an app for, for your tune, you can use yes. it on your phone. Yeah, that's dope. I know a boot mode, I know they're coming out with an app for your phone, but you had to do it on your laptop originally. Um, but yeah, with the MHD, apparently, you have an app and everything. Now, is there anything else on the app that shows you like, like with your car as far as like horsepower or anything like that? Or oh yeah, there is yeah, uh, there's data logging. Okay, cool. And then you can actually purchase a module that shows your boost and horsepower levels and all the basic adjustments for your car. That's awesome. It's just it's so convenient that you can do all that just from your phone. Like we were literally at the meet the other day, and this man was <laughs> changing his tune on his phone like at the meet. <laughs> Super quick, man. Some wet roads. Yeah, but I say it sucks kind of an ugly day because it's raining, but this thing is still super quick. You can feel it. Jeez. Now, as far as um, there, I was just about to ask. <laughs> I was just about to ask for the pop as soon as he did it. Yeah, right now, I have him on mild. So, so it's not too loud, but you can adjust the settings from basic to mild to aggressive to like pretty much insane where it's yeah. popping constantly. <laughs> so now he's gonna let me drive it so I guess I can get a little feel for the car, see how it is um, from my point of view, I guess. But um, Hopefully I don't regret this. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll see. All right. Let's check it out. Let's go down this way. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the throttle response is ridiculous. Like, there's no, there's no lag whatsoever. That is crazy. Even with the basic stage one tune, it actually can sharpen the throttle a little bit more than sport mode can. It brings yeah. it to life a little bit more. Because I've heard that, you know, down pipes and not really down pipes, but charge pipes, just because the stock ones are plastic. Oh, yeah, it's definitely it, a necessity. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Especially when you tune it, man, because. All right. Can I trust them? Once I get that tune, once I, <laughs> once I get that tune, I think, I think I'll be okay. So he's actually gonna show us now uh, the MHD and how he can access it from his phone and everything that he can do on his phone from the MHD tune. So with the new iOS app, you actually get the new MHD OBD2 port. So let's plug it in. And these are your basic maps. So what's like the main difference between stage two and stage two plus? Stage two plus lets you rev out a little bit more and it holds the boost a little bit longer. Okay. Uh, that's part of the biggest flaw of the M55 is the uh, smaller turbo. So BMW played it safe and actually, so you cannot rev it out. Yeah. As you guys can see, his 135 is ridiculous. Like super, super fast. Uh, the video doesn't even do it justice. Being in the vehicle, it's just 
super crazy you know my back was to the back of the seat the whole time he, he did a good job on this um so if any of you guys are out there thinking about getting a 135 i think uh that we both can agree that you probably should do it all right guys i just reviewed chris's uh 135 and let me tell you that is a beast of a car um if any of you are out there thinking about getting a 135 i would definitely recommend it i like how it looks compact you know a little it's like a little coupe i like that about it and man it is just quick it is a quick car but with that being said that wraps up today's video if you liked it go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing i'll go ahead and end the video with a few pictures that me and chris took we took some dope pictures so uh enjoy them to take down you already know get the fuck out of my face now yeah you gotta go man i'm on the chase now